everyone you're all welcome back to the channel a big and a massive thank you to all our subscribers if you're yet to subscribe to this channel please do because we have a lot of amazing tutorials coming your way into this video we're going to be sewing our two brush tear we already um posted the drafting part of this um brush tear so i went ahead to cut my lace and doll face satin i cut two sets of the doll face satin one set is already under the lace i used my hemming gum to place it under the lace using my iron as well and so the other part we are going to be using it to turn the neck so right now i'm removing the stones from the lace which is very important always remove your stones when working on lace with stones so this is the front part of the lace i'm going to be stitching it together the middle part and the side part of the of the burst here I'm going to take half an inch as my sewing allowance. Make sure you take you mark out your half an inch, especially if you've not done this before. Mark out your half an inch and then you sew on it carefully. Please do not rush this process. This is a very vital part of this um, outfit that we are making. The bustier, if you miss it at the bustier, your clothes is going to look somehow. So carefully and gently um, make your stitches. Make sure they are aligning. Make sure the up and the, the down parts of the bustier is aligning. What I mean is that the edges should align. If the edges are not aligning, pull it together. You can pull, pull them and make sure it's aligning why you sew so I'll, I'll go ahead and do likewise to the other parts of the bustier and then do same with my lining as well So after stitching, this is what we have. This is what our bustier look like. You can see it is looking beautiful already. So I'm going to go ahead and um, notch it at the under bust, at the bust point. You know, notch it at some key areas to enable the bustier um lie properly, especially when ironing is going to give it that perfect shape when is 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 well relaxed especially at the edges at those points so i'm going to iron this i'm going to give it a good press is very important ironing of your bustier is one key part that you can't miss take your time when ironing your breast here iron it properly iron it neatly press it very well make sure it's, it's relaxed So as you can see, I used interfacing on my fabric on the lace, also on the lining. I used interfacing. It's important you do this. It gives your fabric a level of firmness. So this is my tailor's ham. I'm going to be using this under the, the bustier, especially the cup side. 
this this um makes when when you're ironing it makes it really easy and it helps it it helps it to the shape to to align properly to come out when it forms better yes that's what it forms better when you're using this to iron and work on your the cup side the breast part of your breast here so you can see how easy is making it is making ironing this um bust here really easy so get yourself something like this i did it myself i just used um my cutting use a cutting hair stay with pieces you know put it together and form that it's easy to make so i'm opening it up and giving it a good press So I'm done with the whole process. Um, you can see how it's looking. Make sure you're pulling white ironing. You're pulling it so that the shape is forming properly. I'm going to trim some area of it, some of the excess. Then I'm going to be using the interfacing to hold down the allowance. So here I'm done. This you can see how well it has formed. The the cup have formed. This process is very important, especially if you are not going to stitch your fabric on the on the good face. Me, I don't like so much stitching on the right part of my of my fabric whenever I'm sewing. So I use this process a lot. You can see how well our breast cup, our breast part have already formed. So I'm going to use the lining to turn the neckline the sweetheart neckline i'll go ahead and stitch it and also i'm going to use the, um, the lining of the back to turn the neckline as well so um here we are we're going to be doing this i'm going to place the lining on my main fabric Okay, I'm taking my time to do this because of those that have never done this before. They don't know how to actually go about it. Um, I'm going to be placing it right on the middle. At the middle, you know, it's a sweetheart neckline. That place that went in, you know, like the love shape. I'm placing my needle there. I will start my sewing from that very point. Look at what I'm doing carefully and follow. I'm going to carefully sew it following the shape. Just keep watching what I'm doing, okay? You get to understand it. So after this, I'm going to turn it to the other face. I'm going to turn it to the other side and still start sewing again from that middle point. That um point of the love shape. You can see what I'm doing. I'm still going to start my sewing again to complete my stitches at the other side.
So after sewing, the next thing you want to do is to notch. You're going to notch at the neckline where you've sewn, especially at the middle part of it. You're going to notch it there. It's going to help it relax better. You're going to give it a good notch. Notch it round. Round the neckline. If you carefully watch what I'm doing in this video, you'll be able to achieve yours perfectly as well. So after notching, you're going to top stitch. You're going to top stitch on your fabric. Now look at what I'm doing. I'm pulling the rough edges to the light part of the lining. You're going to top stitch on the lining, okay? Top stitch on the lining. Make sure the rough edges, that's your sewing allowance, is towards the lining side. Let it not be on at your main fabric. Pull it, pull even while you're sewing. Check it and pull it and make sure they are facing the lining while you're top stitching. Top stitching is important as well. It's going to help your neckline to lie well. It's going to help it to, it's going to keep the lining in place. Okay, it won't be peeping out from your clothes. So carefully top stitch on it following the shape. And make sure you are top stitching close to the main fabric, but let it not um don't stitch on the main fabric, just top stitch on your lining. Okay, I hope that's um clear. Just watch what I'm doing. You get to understand. So I'm going to be doing the same thing with the back, with the back part of the bustier. I'm, I'm going to be placing my fabric, my lining on the fabric. And I will sew down right at the, the, um, the neckline. I'm going to place it right there. Just place it and sew it down using half an inch just like we did at the front stitch it down after that you're going to notch you notch and um you're going to trim if your your excess the excess fabric you have is too much trim it before so you're going to trim it 
go ahead and trim if it's too much but if it's not leave it like that so i'm going to be trimming this because it's much the excess is much i'm trimming some from it then i'm going to top stitch i'm going to top stitch just like we did at the front top stitch on your lining Okay, so after top stitching, you're also going to close up the the zipper side of your of your bustier. Use half an inch to sew it down, to stitch it down. You're going to close up that side as well. So um I'm going to be attaching the skirt to the I'm going to be attaching the bustier to the skirt. Just go ahead and find the middle point of your skirt and then the middle point of your bustier. Align it at that middle point and then you're going to use half an inch to sew it down. Also, I'm going to do the same thing with the back pattern. I'll be um, attaching the top side to the skirt part of the back pattern and I'll sew it down as well. So I'm done. I'm done. And this is what it looks like. Um, the You can look at the, the bustier already attached with the skirt part. This is the back part as well, already attached. You can see how it looks on the inside. Those rough edges there, I'm going to um, weave it. Then I'll attach my zip. I'm going to attach my zip as well. After attaching the zip, I'll go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew it at the edges, at both sides using the measurements so thank you guys for watching um do like subscribe and turn on your post notification bell so you're updated when i post the next video and this is our beautiful two bustier dress